Hi kids! Today we will learn what is lever and its types. So let's start. Kids, we have already learned that machine is any structure that makes our work easier. And simple machines are those machines that have a few or no moving parts at all. Today we will learn about lever which is a simple machine and we use it often in our daily life to make our work easier. Lever is basically a long stick that you push or pull from one side against a fulcrum in order to move something on the other end of the bar. In order to lift an object by hand requires force. Example to lift this heavy weight by hand, you require a lot of muscular strength. But we can lift this object without applying much muscular force using a lever, which is nothing but a rigid bar that moves around a fixed support called fulcrum. Object to be moved or lifted is placed on one side of the rigid bar and force is applied on the other side of the bar to lift it. Object can be lifted with much ease compared to lifting the object using muscular force. A lever essentially has three parts, effort, load, and fulcrum. Effort is the point where you apply force. Fulcrum is a fixed support. And load is a point where you want the force applied to act. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. There are three types of levers and we call them as three classes of levers based on the varying positions of effort, load and fulcrum. Let's learn. In a first class lever, fulcrum is between the effort and the load. In a second class lever, load is between the effort and fulcrum. And in the third class lever, effort is between the fulcrum and the load. Let's revise. Fulcrum in the center, first class. Load in the center, second class. And effort in the center, third class. You need to remember this. Now let's see certain things in our daily life based on these three classes of lever. Here we have a pair of scissors. This is the point where you apply force. So this is effort. This is the fixed support or fixed point. This is known as fulcrum. And this is where the applied force acts on an object. That is, we apply force here and it cuts the paper here. So this is the load point. So what we see here, here, fulcrum is between the effort and the load. So this is an example of first class lever as fulcrum is in the center. Here we have another object of this kind and it is a pair of pliers. This is the point where we apply force. So this is effort and this is the fixed point. So it's the fulcrum and this is where the applied force acts on the object. So this is load. So again, fulcrum is in the center here. So this too is a first class lever. Here is another example. 
a seesaw. Here, the force is being applied. This is the fixed support. And here, the force is produced. And the boy is lifted up. So this point is force. This is fulcrum. And this is load. Again, this is an example of first class lever. So again, fulcrum is in the center here. This is a hammer. Let's see how. Is it based on a lever? And this is a first class lever. This is the point where you apply force. And this is where force is being produced or the load is here. And this is the support or the fulcrum. So hammer is a class one lever. Now, let's see some more examples. This is a wheelbarrow. Now let's try to find out if there is a lever in it and which type. This is the point where force is being applied. And this is where the force is being used or the load is supported. And this is the support or the fulcrum. So this is a lever as it has fulcrum it has force and it has load. And here the load is in the center. That is in the middle of fulcrum and effort. And we know when the load is in center, it's a second class lever. So wheelbarrow is an example of second class lever. Now let's learn more examples. Here we have a nutcracker. This is the point where we apply force, so this is effort. This is the fixed part or the fulcrum. And this is where the load is placed. Or the force we apply is used here. So we have effort, load, and fulcrum here. So it's a lever, but which type? So here, load is in the center, and we know where the load is in the center, it is a second class lever. So nutcracker is a second class lever. Now here we have one more example. Here we have a fishing rod. It's a lever. Let's see how and which type. The center of the rod is a place where you apply force. And this end of the rod acts as fulcrum or the support. And the other end of the rod is the load area as it supports the load. So it has fulcrum, effort, and load. And here, effort is in the center. And we learned in the beginning that third class levers have effort in the center. So this is an example of third class lever. Let's have another example. Here we have a tong. It's a lever. Let's see how and which type. The center of the tong is the place where you apply force. And this end of the tong acts as fulcrum or the support. And the other end of the tong is the load area as it supports the load. So it has fulcrum, effort, and load. And here effort is in the center. And we learned in the beginning that third class levers have effort in the center. So this is an example of third class lever. Let's have a look at another such example. Here we have a stapler. We often use it for so many purposes. It's a lever. Let's see how and which type. The center of the stapler is the place where you apply force. 
And this end of the stapler acts as fulcrum or the support. And the other end of the stapler is the load area as it supports the load. So it has fulcrum, effort, and load. And here too, effort is in the center. So this is also an example of third class lever. Let's revise once again. Effort in the center is third class lever. Load in the center is second class lever. And fulcrum in the center is class one lever. Okay kids, so today we learned what is lever, its types, and how we can identify the type of lever. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.